That's a new time. Thank you for coming to the VRA conference in Darwin. Welcome. You're about to present on the connection between new media and the Catholic Church. Can you just explain that in a few seconds? Yeah, I suppose the Catholic Church has always been in the business of communications. It's why we exist. We've been familiar with the older media, which for many of us is, I suppose, an extension of the microphone. We're here speaking, and it gets us out there. New media has, however, set up a different way of communication. It's a much more dynamic, changing, interactive system of communication, and we're trying to learn what it means to communicate effectively in that environment. It's also more two-way. It's much more two-way, and yeah. that for us is, it's, it's something we've always done. We've always been very good at listening in and knowing and responding to what people are saying. The more formal kind of forms of interactivity as a features of new media presence is more of a challenge for us, partly because who has the authority to speak for the church? If somebody says they are the church, well, are they or are they not the church? If somebody says something that's inappropriate, well, then could that cause problems with others who see it as an authoritative statement of the church? So one of the things we're having to negotiate and think about is a kind of levels of communication and how we can respond to people's questions without always being invested with the full authority of the centralized teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Right. Right.